Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In the last couple of videos, we took a look at free from prompts in Google AI Studio followed by the Gemini API and Google Apps Script. And also we looked at Gemini Pro Vision model that allows us to pass images as prompts and get a response back in text. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at structured prompts. That is another feature that comes under Google AI Studio. So when you go to your Google AI Studio and you click on create new, you see something called free from prompt. You see something called structured prompt that we're going to be looking at in this video and chat prompt is going to be for the future videos that will come. So um, let's just, just get an introduction of what a chat prompt looks like. So basically when you have a chat prompt like this, this is the official ai.google.dev uh, documentation for Google AI Studio. So if you want to check it this out, I'll leave this link in the description. So basically you have your structured prompt, you give a structured input and you get an output accordingly. So you give it uh, the input and the expected output. You give it multiple examples in the input prompt here and you give it a text as in what it's supposed to do. And um, once you have your input data fixed, uh, you can test your prompt by giving it a sample input and checking it if it can give a proper output. So um, in this example or in this video, I'm going to be creating a grammar corrector. So here I have a database of I think around 20 sentences, which I plan to teach it. And this is the original sentence that had the bad, that has bad grammar and you convert that sentence into a sentence that has fixed grammar. That is good grammar. So you have this database inside of a Google sheet. So it's time to transfer it to Google AI studio and let's just get started. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create new. You can access it by makersuite.google.com and it brings you to your library. You go here and create a structured prompt. Now, normally if you're testing for three, four examples, it is very understandable if you just go and type in your input and output. But if you have large number of outputs, like with this one, I have almost 20 of them. So instead of doing it for 20, I can just go here, click on actions, click on import examples. And then I can go to my recent Google Sheets and I can say, yes, the grammar database. And I can click on insert. And it will bring the data into my uh, structured prompt you can see it has successfully inputted all the sentences from input sentences where you have the original sentence that has bad grammar and then you have one that has the fixed grammar so here you can see we have given it the data that uh, that it requires to um, convert a bad grammar sentence into a fixed grammar sentence so i'm going to go to my models and i'm going to click on gemini pro and now when you do test your prompt once you give it the input and the data it's time to test your prompt. So I'm going to be pasting the sentence here. I went to store yesterday. So yes, the sentence is wrong. Now to get an output, I'm going to be clicking on run. And let's say in a few seconds, it should be able to answer on showing a small error, but it has successfully given the output grammar that has said, I went to the store yesterday. So here you can see, this is a very small and basic example explaining us how basically the structured prompt works inside of Google AI Studio. In the future videos, we'll be going into in-depth things and we'll be building some interesting things. Um, I have planned for a marketing writer. So if I give it an image and a particular um, department that the product comes under for people to buy it from, I can tell it to write a short description or write an advertisement for me and do some things very interesting with structured prompts. So this is all for this video. I'll be leaving the Google AI Studio Quick Start documentation link in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.